Good morning. Happy Friday. We made it through another week. If you're watching my content on Facebook, please like my page. If you're watching it on YouTube, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Let's see what the cards have in store for us today. Okay, so today looks like we're back to the theme about our thoughts or communications with the swords as we have two swords in the reading for today. Um, starting off with the Six of Swords, Earned Success, uh, Mercury in Aquarius. And Mercury, of course, is all about thoughts, communication. Aquarius has to do with spiritual things, knowledge, um, independence, but it also, it's an air sign, so it deals with our thoughts and how we think about ourselves. And what the Six of Swords is telling us is we need to work at moving today from a troubled state of mind into a more calm and passive state of mind. Um, it need We need to be... Uh, making that transition from the turbulent waters to the still waters. And as we do that, we're going to find a lot of clarity. Uh, this could also be a communication issue. Maybe there are things that you need to clear up or air out or voice your opinion on. And this would be the time to do them. Because that's going to help us move to the King of Swords. Now, the King of Swords, of course, swords are all about thoughts and communication and intelligence and things of a mental nature. And the King is the fire quality of air. So it's, all talk it's talking about these thoughts that we have and we're acting upon them. We've taken our thoughts and they're, we've worked on them and they're matured, meaning that they're not just spontaneous thoughts that come about, but they're thoughts that really we've dwelt on, we've processed, we've internalized within ourselves, and now we're acting upon them and moving out with them. So as we move from this turbulent time to the time where we've got our thoughts in order, you know, we've put or we've gone through the process of clearing out what it is that's confusing us or causing us problems or mental turmoil, and now we're acting upon them. So as you get your thoughts clear and organized, you're going to find that you're starting to act on them and starting to produce things in your life and really take steps based off of your thoughts that manifest in your life and manifest what you're trying to achieve in your life. And this is all going to bring us to the Ten of Cups, which is perfected success. And perfected success is all about having those things that we desire. It's really that picture-perfect ending. Having our desires fulfilled, having enough of everything, it, the emotional satisfaction is there in our lives. Um, we're joyous and we're sharing that joy with others that are important to us. And all of this comes as a result of getting our thoughts in line and organizing the negative thoughts cleared out so that we can act on the positive thoughts to produce this result in our lives. Um, so it's going to be a wonderful day. Just remember to keep working on yourself. It's, it's hard to do sometimes. But as we keep working on ourselves, we keep growing and we keep moving into this new state of mind, this perfected state of mind, where we're acting upon our thoughts that we've organized and not just spontaneously go after a thought or act on a thought, but really think about what we're doing, then we start to achieve that perfected success in our lives, that happiness and that joy that fills us to the core and really emotionally fulfills what it is that we're trying to do in our life. 
So that's what the cards have for us today. I hope you got a lot out of the reading. If you're watching this on my Facebook channel, please like the page. If you're watching it on YouTube, please like and subscribe. And you can also follow my blog. All of the links are listed in the description on the about page of my Facebook and in the description below on YouTube. If you'd like to have a reading, they start off at $5. You can contact me through Facebook, through YouTube, or through my email at lodgemagician at gmail.com. Thank you and have a wonderful day.